The L515 data sheet defines the maximum range of the camera for a scene that has no ambient sunlight. In this video, I will help you better understand range and how to easily get an estimate for the maximum range in your specific environment. All time of flight cameras, including L515, emit light and measure the time it takes for that light to reflect off of objects in the scene and return to the camera. The maximum distance light can travel to an object and back to the camera without losing too much energy is represented here by an arc. This is the maximum range of the camera. If the maximum range is 9 meters, then the arc is 9 meters from the camera. If the maximum range is 6 meters, then the arc is 6 meters from the camera. External light sources, such as sunlight, lower the signal-to-noise ratio of L515 and therefore reduce the range. A scene with no sunlight may have the advertised max range of 9 meters, while a scene that has sunlight coming in through a window could have a maximum range of 5 meters or less. It is important to understand the difference between range and depth. A few more pieces of information will be added to the diagram. The imaging plane is an imaginary plane located at the camera sensor perpendicular to the direction the camera is pointing. Points A and B are on the wall in the center and edge of the camera's field of view. The distance from C to A is the range to point A. The distance from C to B is the range to point B. The wall is now positioned so that it crosses the maximum range arc we discussed previously. We will assume the max range of the camera is 9 meters and the wall is 8 meters from the camera. Points A and B are on the max range arc, so the distances of C to A and C to B are both 9 meters. The portion of the wall inside the max range arc is visible by the camera. The portion of the wall outside the max range arc is not visible by the camera and no depth information will be available. Now we can talk about depth. Again, the camera is close enough to the wall that it is within the max range of the camera. It is important to remember that L515 and all real sense depth cameras report depth information and not range information. Depth is measured from the imaging plane. A new point D is placed on the imaging plane. The distance from D to B is the depth at point B. The distance from C to A is the depth at point A. In the depth map produced by L515 for this example, the depth value for points A and B are equivalent even though their ranges are different. The RealSense viewer has a built-in tool that estimates the maximum range for your specific scene. The viewer is an open source viewing application for RealSense cameras. It is available as part of the RealSense SDK, and the application can also be downloaded through IntelRealSense.com and GitHub. The Max Usable Range tool requires that the L515 be set to the Max Range preset and to VGA resolution. The color stream resolution is reduced to more closely match depth resolution for this example. The max usable range tool does not require the color stream, only the depth stream is required. Enable the max usable range tool located in the controls section of the viewer. Now, when your mouse is over any part of the depth window, the screen will display the max range for the scene, taking into account any ambient light in the field of view. In this example, the maximum range for the scene is 4 meters, 
due to ambient sunlight coming in through open windows. It is easiest to see the effect of the reduced range in the corners of the room. The corners are the furthest distance or range from the camera. Now, with no ambient sunlight, the max usable range is 9 meters, and the corners of the room can be seen clearly in the depth map. Because the overhead light does not emit IR, it has no negative effect on the camera's max range. Thank you.